so in the wake of TikTok continuously, like literally on a schedule, it seems, banning my live stream access, my live stream access, um, banning posts for nudity that don't contain nudity, banning posts that talk about what TikTok does to black creators, labeling them as bullying and harassment. On top of that, when that when that stuff happens, um, people ask like how else they can support me. They're like, you should get a Patreon. Um, and I'm like, and the funny thing is, I do have a Patreon. Um, but whenever I post anything about Patreon and asking people to go support me via Patreon, guess what happens? The video either gets viciously shadow banned or just banned in general for nudity or harassment or something crazy or something fucking random. So on top of worrying about getting banned for random shit, on top of worrying about, you know, just showing up on camera and having a live stream being taken down for nudity or whatever, it, on, it, on top of like feeling hopeless that we can't even talk about sometimes what's going on with us, we also can't promote ourselves in other streams of revenue because TikTok takes those down too and bans those as well and so it's like you can't fucking win you can't fucking win and it is so it's so demoralizing and it's so annoying because it's it's again it's designed to keep us down it's designed to keep us from profiting off of our hard work it's designed to invoke this feeling of why even try and it works because it's exactly how i feel right now i'm like why try um and of course i'm going to keep on trying because what else do i have to do you know um being depressed and all this shit i'm gonna i keep on doing it but it's like all of these like the roadblocks the roadblocks are endless just when you think you've gotten over one hump they come up with another just when you think that you have gotten past one obstacle there's two or three more there's another set of things that you have to be careful not to talk about there's another set of things that like you have to be afraid to mention because even though it is completely innocent and be and even though toxic ass usually white usually male creators on tiktok do way worse things even though there are pedophiles literally like literally predators thriving on that app we have to worry about innocuous things like wearing a shirt off the shoulder or talking about what happens to us or or just promoting a Patreon. So yes, I do have a Patreon. I do have a Patreon. I'll link it in this in the description of this video because I guess YouTube is the only place I can probably be safe talking about it. I can't talk about but I can't talk about it on the platform where I have the bulk of my followers, literally 1.2 million followers, which by the way should be more by now. Um, because the rate of growth has been slowed so fucking much. It's so goddamn obvious that it's being done intentionally. And again, people saying that the app is making them unfollow me. Like they, like just same fucking thing. And I'm so like, same fucking thing. And the cycle, the vicious cycle will go on. Like more of us will start talking about this and then TikTok will come back and they'll be like, oh man, we didn't fuck, you know, we are so sorry to our black community of creators and then do something dumb and performative like the black creators mentorship program, whatever the fuck, come up with some meaningless affirmative action program that's going to do absolutely nothing for the, for the, for the majority of us. That's going to do absolutely nothing for everybody. You know what I mean? Um, just gonna just gonna encourage more needless competition within the community of black creators of which there does not need to be because we're all fabulous on our own and we all have our own thing like there's no reason why we need to con there's no reason to do that but but they'd rather do that than you know just do what's right 
and just stop targeting us. So yeah, I do have a Patreon. Like, go support or whatever. Like, because I can't live stream anymore. I can't live stream anymore on TikTok unless they, you know, unless they accept my appeal or whatever. And there's no guarantee of that. So every time they do this, I have to assume that it is permanent and or forever or whatever. And this is how they bully black creators off of the app. This is how they do it. Um... And this is why I've done less and less opinion pieces over the past few months because I am afraid of, I'm afraid of my opinion pieces being labeled as something. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid to do opinion pieces. I'm afraid to like, you know, do anything that is not a minstrel show. Yeah.